okay this is about the view the view you can create from the original table itself and you can use it rather giving access to the original table complex query can be avoided so any complex query you can create a view for that query and you can use the view itself okay it will not take any space it is a virtual table uh, not like a original base table any change you make on the base table will be reflected in the view any change you make on the virtual table virtual table which is nothing but the view will not be reflected in the base table okay this is the uh, sql command or sql query to create a command we can say to create a view create view view name we have to give okay as how we wanted the view select a column one column two from which table and any condition if it is this is the query actually and this is how you create a view okay so example is create a view trainer as select a course so this is our query right select course name trainers from course table is our query so we are creating a view for that so how the view will come it will be like a table the base table only with the course name course underscore name and trainers okay will be of only uh, two columns from and uh, the view name is a trainer okay and using subquery also you can create it so as i told like uh, this is the query okay uh, in the query we are going to display product name and this price from the table products where price is greater than this is another subquery okay price should be we are taking the average price of the products table and saying price should be greater than the average price so for that we will create a view so every time if you wanted sometimes like um, you will quit out of the server and come out and again you have to write this query you know for that if you create a view and you can use it another application is like if you are writing uh, any applications okay uh, so uh, in that case you can tell uh, the uh, you can create a view okay in your application itself rather than selecting the tables like complex queries like this for that you can create a view and you can tell your application application when i say i say the java program right you remember in a java program this that small project we read that csv file okay you think that you are going to read the database okay in the database you will connect through the jdbc and you will read the database information if you are going to read the table from the database if you create a view directly you can use the select star from view you can give a view is created as like this then you can give select star from view itself rather than giving the complete query view name if you are giving it view name itself you can get the data it means it will give the complete information about uh, whatever the select query is like a trainer okay so you don't have to write uh, trainer you will directly select select star from trainer right it is easy right rather than writing the complete query so for this reason you can go for views wherever you wanted to use okay and update view uh, this is the command alter update if you wanted to alter something in the view then you will give alter view view name name of the view as select columns from which table and conditions you can provide so example is like alter the trainer table as select id select means it will list out okay select id course name trainer from which from courses okay uh, here it is not actually altering it is just displaying it only okay we, we can give a conditions okay so some other example is update this is the view name okay update view example using the update command you can change the value in the views say for employee id is 3 i wanted to change the employee id of 1 to 3 update this is the view name set employee id equal to 3 where employee id equal to 1 so this will change the value only in the view okay or else you can use alter command also okay alter view view name as select all this this will display it okay. so drop view also you can do uh, if exist command this exists command no this can be used during the creation of table also okay what it will do you will create a table create a table you can give this keyword if exists 
okay table name you can give so what it will do if the table name already exists it will not create it if not exist if you give it will create if it is not existing only if exist if exist is the contradictory right if not exist you wanted to create it likewise you can use this if exist or if not exist keywords also okay so here they are going to drop the view even in dropping of a table you can use this drop table if exist it will drop otherwise it will not drop the table it will say table doesn't exist that it will normally give up to okay this is table name for views also you can use this so to drop a view to delete a view you will use drop view view name okay if exists it is an optional if you do not specify this class and the view does not exist the drops uh, views will still will return an error okay otherwise it will throw that a um, view is not present so this is the straight this is one example drop view trainer trainer is the view name okay these are the lab exercise we will do some uh, uh, demo in that then it will be easy to understand and why is that uh, your classmates are joining and withdrawing <laughs> they are joining the class and then just going off don't know what is the reason okay i will end this share the vt lab yes sir they i don't know whether they just come for the glimpse and then after seeing it they are leaving okay i have done something i will exit from this uh, i will log in again i have a new root i have not given password i am going to use the demo database because i have some tables in that okay so show tables in demo database so it is having this many tables so something we will use it to work on views create view the concept of a view is fine no sir for uh, manigandan sir and subrata roy sir uh, vaibhav amalan vaibhav please do attend the classes for your installation and all it will be easy okay please do attend the classes regularly okay so i have already created a table i think it is employee okay select a star from employee table yeah this table we will work on with and we will also try to join with other tables too so this table has uh, this many fields columns id name uh, exam uh, gender and uh, date of birth salary and department id i think there is a department table also select star from department yes so this this department table is having the uh, wh what are the id fields id field of one department id one is nothing but it so this both are related okay these two tables two is hr so here john is i think this gender is mismatching it's okay john is uh, hr and sales three three elisa is uh, sales department likewise so we create a view into in this table uh, we can create a view for uh, say name and salary if i'm trying to create it or we can create view for everything create view this is how you have to create a view create view uh, sample or employee view emp v i give like this emp view name 
as select uh, id comma name comma gender comma salary only these four fields or salary comma date of birth also dob also i am giving yeah the screen is not shared ma'am okay sorry okay so i have a two tables which is employee table okay it has all these fields id name gender dob salary department id and another table which is actually the department id are given in numbers the other table department is having what are what this number means okay why one is for it two for hr and three for sales so i'm trying to create a view for the employee table where i wanted only in my view only id name gender date of birth and salary okay so this is our create a table enter unknown id field it is saying okay from which table i am not given okay so there is from table employee creating a view create view employee view name as this is the query like select id name gender salary dob from which table which table is employee table that's why it was giving error so view is created so we can directly view the view see the view select star from view name okay it is like a table only but only thing is it is a virtual virtual means it will not be stored in anywhere in the memory okay so this is the view created okay uh, so if i wanted to insert some values in the view okay some uh, insert same commands like insert into view name emp view then i can give the values or if i wanted to give a particular value only like um, name name comma gender values in the values i give it as my name like this and female okay so this i can do it field name demo dot emp view already table does not have a default value okay describe employee default value it is there but it is throwing error null okay what i will do i will try to give all the values and then see id as uh, what will like like 6 comma id name gender and salary like uh, comma date of birth as 2022 20, something okay it is expecting all the values it is not allowing me to add only the particular values so select star from m view then if you were adding particular values we have to alter the table i think not insert it so it is a taking okay so in the emp view we have added a field uh, sorry added a row for my name sixth row we have added it let's see if the original table is changed that is the base table the base table is employee in this also it is a reflected okay the change in the uh, employee table it is also reflected in the original table
so what I said like it will not reflect that is wrong but it will get reflected in the original table also okay say if I add something in this like um, insert into emp table employee table values so I give seven comma somebody's name like a vibe comma mail comma some date of birth and the department ID as um, 3 something if I give this column does not count I think salary I missed so salary as 50,000 something it is affected so this original table is uh, uh, updated with a vibe my view select start from emp view select star from emp view is also affected so both ways it will do so okay uh, the the one i told like if you update the view it will not come here that is wrong both the ways it will get uh, reflected okay if you are inserting a value is this okay inserting into a view then we can also do an update update on the view like update view name is emp view and i set some name in update means you can set the values okay set some uh, salary or the date of a birth day o b equal to uh 1999-0209 where id equal to six for sixth id which is my name for the sixth id i'm trying to set the date of birth in the view okay this is this is the same for the table command also so it is affected i will select star from view and see it select star from view view is emp view so it is changed before it was 2022 date of birth now it is changed to 1999 so let's see when the base if the base table is also affected base table is employee that is also getting affected so if you change the view also or if you change the base table also it gets reflected in both ways okay you can delete a particular record from the view or or, or we can delete the complete view itself anything you can do it so show it is not shooting show views i think it will list the view I forgot the command. Okay, it is a show full table. Show full tables will show the views also. Okay, because the show tables, if you give, it will only give the table. It is also giving the view name. Okay, here it is giving the view name, but show tables will also show which is the view. Okay, table type, show full tables. The command is table type under the base table type that information it will show okay so you can delete a particular record from the table 
uh, where you can give a delete command so from that view okay select star from emp view is your view here if i say uh, delete from tab uh, from the view where id equal to 6 if i give then that uh, particular id will be deleted okay it is deleted so i will view the view select star from emp view so it is removed and from the base table also it will be removed employee employee is the base table so this basic commands are fine like how to create a view and how to view it is this fine Is this fine, sir? Manigandan, sir, Amalan. Okay. So, what we will do is like um, we will create some join queries and then we will see. You can drop this view also. Okay. Some query between we will join between the two tables and we will see it. Okay. So, we will take a select star from employee table. Okay. This is the employee table and select star from uh, department in that department it was having the information about one two three so these two uh, we create a view joining these two tables and we see the v's we will see how it works okay so what i will do i will create a view create a view in this um, what name i will give uh, imp ed em, employee and department view okay like this i will give name as the query for me is a select uh, name which one we will okay select a name so name we have to mention from which table right because it doesn't understand whether it is a table from employee or from table department because both are having the com columns and name so we will give m from which table we are going to select a name m comma name and m comma gender and uh, m comma salary or something whatever we wanted we can give it and this is not emp this is employee because my table name is employee i had the query so i'm just uh, doing that employee as okay from which table from employee table okay and that you can join join it with join means it will do an inner join inner join you understand no? whichever is common it will join it inner join with uh, uh, another table it is nothing but the department table department table on what id depart uh, okay i will explain this query employee dot id equal to department dot id so i'll copy this so this is how the query is we are creating a ed view as 
this is the query okay employee dot and name and employee dot gender we are going to uh, list it in the view and employee dot salary from which table it is employee table in a joining with the jo uh, department table so whichever is matching it will create it as a view on what field which is nothing but em employee dot id and department dot id rather than i am writing every time employee dot name employee dot uh, gender what i can give i can give an alias here okay employee as e and department as a d so that it will be easy for me no need to write the complete name right okay what i will do uh, okay something it is not copying I want to copy and do that. So in this I will change that e, rather than writing the complete table name, I will write e dot name. And this is what I was doing e dot uh, gender, e dot salary, m pinner join this one, and here e dot employee name, e dot id. Okay, e dot id and e dot sorry this is a d dot department and if you wanted to list the department information also here you can give d dot uh, name is there no for the department field that like that we can create the view so i will copy this query this query is fine no we are creating based on this query rather than every time writing this join statement you can select how do we write uh, how do you have to uh, list the joins of two tables like this you will write a query now what you can uh, do since you have created a view you can directly select star from the ed view you can give it okay this this query i will copy and put it in the mysql okay i think this will also create it same thing only employee dot not at all. name duplicate the column name name it is showing i think it is because uh, employee dot name and this one is mismatch okay view is created because employee name it is a name on the employee department name is also names that's why it is giving error otherwise what you can give here in this above query which where it was giving error as department name ed it is saying ed already exists so i will drop this view okay drop a view ed view then i'll create again now it is created why because why it threw error in this statement is employee name i have given and department name i have given both will list as name no so it is contradicting so what i have done in the latest query i have made a department name as print it as a department and name like that i have given so we will see how the view now looks like select start from ed view okay so department is giving this is the view now you can work on this view or you can retrieve the data from this view or you don't have to you know that you are going to do an inner join all the time then you can directly create a view and keep it and see the results from this so what this inner join is doing whichever is matching with the department value right we are doing a join on the id field right on the id field so employee table id field okay and the employee tail department id field is hr and what sorry not hr it is it and whatever is matching it uh, common to these two tables it is giving the result it is here giving the result likewise okay whichever is a matching it is this query okay so like this you can write a view So it is easy, you know, if you wanted to see a join, join of a two table, you can directly give select star from the view. No need to uh, write this comp complex queries.
okay one more thing i will try but i'm not sure whether it will work so i will create another view in which we will get the count of the uh, employees okay and group it by the department okay so what i will do the view i will create create a view uh, count count like that we can see count a view as select the department comma count star the number of employees so this is the aggregate function we know it as uh, total employee like that okay it will write it here itself employee from employee table group by department so what this query will do we know the employee table and the department table is like this right this is the employee table and the department table is this one so it will count the number of it people okay in the employee table and give the count okay this is the query create a, uh, we are creating a view uh, how we are creating the view is total number of employees belonging to a particular department that is the uh, ex that is the problem statement that is the question like find the total number of uh, employees belonging to the particular department so group by department is whichever is common it two are there ramya and peter that it will group it together and give us the result not sure unknown field department it is saying i think department spelling is wrong unknown field department okay this is a department id unknown column department in the group group okay my query was wrong this is the query so department i have given no so i'm selecting the department ids and group it by the department id so if you see the table table again the table is employee table so it is having the department id and i'm going to group it by the department id okay single table only i'm working on okay from employee table only and i'm going to give the name for the table as total employee so view is already created count view i will give select star from the count view so it is giving department id in one there are two people okay total employees are two department id two there are two employees and department id three there are two employees you can see the table also in employee table one there are two two there are two and three also there are three employees okay so if see uh, next time if somebody asks to find the number of uh, employees in each department you can directly give select star from count view no need to write this query at all okay this query will be virtually stored in your database okay is this fine guys some more examples we will see in the views some complex queries maybe we will try to write I'll just take it. It is like inner joints only they do.
I don't have any other example other than this. You can tell me what other you wanted to write. The thing is, the classes are like having group by everything, you can aggregate it together. And the one more view I can create like this one. Okay, so we are taking the tables and creating. Say, for example, if I try to create some uh, information, so like um, directions, okay, directions, you can create your own views. Directions, I can give like. Um, direction okay the name you can give like this also dalia's name okay and i will give it as in the capital d direction as say i select uh, north okay union of it select south union select east and west and select west okay so what it is going to do like it will create a table view table and of name directions and it will have an alias as a direction as north south east and west all together in a table it will create so i will list it and see select start from the view name directions okay it is a giving like this so you can create your own views also no need to uh, Take the table only, you can create by your own name. Okay. This is, this is all about view. I'm trying to get some more example. that is all i have okay is this view fine so you will be able to work on with the view right if you can create the view and there are some uh, exercises in this you can work on this one okay regarding views existing where condition using inner join add a new column in a view and create a view with from another view okay this you can do it create a view from the another view I have already created many views, right? We can see it show tables or show full tables. So there are many views. If I try to create another view, like create a new view, create view, new view as say I take this emp, emp view only. Okay, select uh, emp name is there in that view name and the salary from emp view this is also possible if you wanted to create it so select star from new view so it is giving the values from the existing view okay like this also you can do okay anything else that's all this is from the existing view and some Delete a view, setting new values for the particular record. 
okay then uh, there is another thing that is string functions we will see in the string functions uh, whatever we are storing the values right how we can concatenate the two values between two columns and view it in us i mean uh, and display it in a single column like that and all you can do you can do concatenation you can find the substring okay using that string functions that ppt i will take Okay, this here. Okay, about the string functions. So string functions are like working on the values in the uh, any string, whatever the value in a strings we are storing it. We can uh, segregate a particular value, or you can append with the two values together and view it. Say for example, if you have an email ID. And you want to check take only the username from an email ID because email ID will be like name some name at uh, uh, gmail.com is there. No? So if you wanted to separate tokenize it each of the uh, based on some token uh, like at field or dot field that you can do it using the string functions in SQL. Okay, so concatenation it will concatenate input is one or more arguments and the output is to the one concatenated string. If you give two uh, values together, it will give uh, two arguments. Okay, so concatenate is a function string function if you give like data and science it will give the output as data science if you give any null value in the, your argument it will give only the null value okay and if you give first name last name concatenation from student this can be one of the query okay so the table is student table the student table is having first name and the last name so if you concatenate the first name and last name you can see like uh, my complete name like jayakodi r r amalan sagur likewise you can see the value okay so concatenate ws is with a separator so whatever we are doing concatenation if you want to give a separator like data data comma signs or first name comma last name then you can use the ws ws is a separator okay word separator uh, you can give the separator in the as a first argument and which are the two strings you wanted to concatenate okay concatenate two or more strings with the predefined separator so concatenate data scientist he, first one is the word separator which is a comma then it will give the output as data comma scientist and concatenate ws comma you give if it is a null value in concatenate ws null value is it will is ignored and it will give uh, only the uh, argument whereas in concatenate if null is present the output will be null only so you will use it accordingly so example is dot name dot qualification okay as student info from the student table so this two example i will show then we will see substrings length upper lower and all this there are many uh, um, functions will be the string if you take you can do anything with the string reverse string compass string all stuffs whichever is commonly used that examples we will see so i will show some example in this so control l so same thing like whatever we have in our ppt only we can do select concat function okay and in that if i give it's a, a string so i'm going to give it like this okay so a string data and a science s c i e n c e science then it gives the result as a data science together so you can also give like a output okay rather the column name it is keep coming like this no we can give it as a nice name 
output is data science if it is having a null in this okay n u l l or small anything you can give okay it will give the output as a null that is the concatenate information so if you take some table select star from i will see what table we can take show tables sorry select star from users table i'll check if it is having anything or select star from student is there name and class is there excuse me Okay, I'll check emp table, select star from emp. Okay, okay, no problem. Anything we can use it. We were just selecting uh, concatenate like, um, okay, employee ID or emp name, emp name comma cell phone. Okay, cell phone from which table from m table okay these two values i'm going to concatenate okay then it will come in a single uh, like this okay concatenate m name and cell phone whatever is the cell phone okay so this i will give a nice name like uh, m data so m data it will concatenate the two strings okay whatever the values of our m name and the cell phone it is concatenating and it is giving okay say for example if i wanted to give a separator like uh, uh, peter space uh, phone number you wanted to give then what you can give you can do it like a uh, space we wanted right space you can give it or if i want a comma first i will show with the comma i will give the first one the word separator concatenate underscore word separator comma if you give it it will give the result okay so it is like uh, we will see sometimes we wanted to see the complete details like a uh, home num see i told no like uh, if null null if say for example i wanted to see the cell phone and the home number home number right home phone with the comma separator or with the space of a particular field if we wanted to retrieve the data likewise then you can give like the likewise for emp data the first field the uh, cell phone is um, home phone is not there cell phone is not there so it is not giving any value for others it is giving the values likewise you use you can use concatenate and concatenate ws okay so here it is giving it is not throwing any error that is the uh, see uh, for concatenate underscore ws i have a separator the first field is home phone is null null is ignored whatever the value is present it is giving if i give that as a concatenate not a separator then it will give the value as a null for that that is the only difference opening this i missed see it is giving the value as null okay that is the difference here likewise you can have a dot we have a student table no select star from student in that uh, you can concatenate select concatenate underscore ws with a separator dot and i give the field name name comma class okay from student so it will give amlan dot cs pinkanababu dot ece manigandenser dot cs likewise likewise you can use this concatenate string function okay we can also give tab okay tab slash t you can give okay so it will give a tab space between the two arguments name and class okay you guys are not asking any questions
please do ask questions. Is this okay? Like a concatenate and concat underscore ws. Okay. Okay. Then uh, next is the. So I mean I have shown uh, like uh, how you can directly write it. Otherwise you can apply. Obviously why we use these functions we have to apply on your table only right. That's why we are using this way. Okay. The next uh, one is a string substring. Okay, so there are different ways you can find the substrings. You can in the substring function you will pass two parameters which is a string. Okay, what is the string and the position you wanted to substring it from? Okay, uh, here uh, substring position. This is the first example if you can see PG diploma it is there. Fifth till five uh, characters it will leave and it will substring that is one, two, Three, four, five characters. It will leave, it will leave it and it will display the five characters. Four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, from the four, fifth character, it will display the output. Okay, substring from fifth character. If we, this two are same, okay. If you give like from also, you can use from fourth character, you will display the output, uh, display the string or from the fifth character, these two are same way. You can write it like this or either like this and substring five comma four. So what it will do, it will go, it will start to display from the fifth character that is one, two, three, four, five. From the fifth character, how many characters it will display? Four characters. 1, 2, 3, 4 till m till m it will display this four characters it will display okay substring with the two uh, position and length we are giving see this one the, this is the string from where you have to start the uh, substring that it is the position until what length you wanted this uh, string to be displayed that is the length it will give okay and uh, likewise if it is a minus 3 means it will go from the backwards of the string okay 1 2 3 okay uh, not from the front not from the left side from the right side okay 1 2 3 uh, from third position from the left from the end it will display the string and minus 5 and 3 positions means this is the position right 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 from the fifth position till 3 characters 1 2 3 okay this three characters it will length is three that it will display it here this one and this one are the same okay here we are giving for three if it is a from means for the positive we will give from this position to this position when it is a negative even it is not a negative it is like for length okay for length if you are going to give you will give this for in that is this clear substrings you can uh, give a string name and the position where you can do it you can go from right to left sorry left to right okay left to right and if you give a negative positioning then it will read from right to left this is for negative position values right to left okay from likewise you can find the substrings as i told like if you have an email id like uh, jcody okay at something like a hotmail or gmail.com then if you know like uh, this is going to be standard right if it is a hotmail so many uh, users are having hotmail ids right and if you want this is one of the way to find only the username right then if you wanted to find the username this many characters you can skip it and read it from this okay likewise it will display it okay we will see demo in this and substring index we can post, uh, give so index this may be very useful while you are reading the uh, email or the websites and all so index is we will give the delimiter okay so if you see this example www.mysql.com 
okay in that we are saying uh, read the dot which is happening in the second position okay this is the delimiter delimiter means it is uh, dividing the words okay the delimiter here it is a dot and the count in the second count till the second count okay this till the count till the count you read it and display the substring okay so what it will do first this is the first occurrence of the cow of the delimiter this is the second occurrence of the delimiter till this it will go okay the the how it will do it was all written in the code okay we just have to understand like how the substring underscore index works okay you can give the count till dot you will display the result so till second dot whenever it hits the second dot it will give the substring of this value likewise if you give minus okay then it will go from here this is the first dot this is the second dot till here it will display the output if you can see it here okay this can also be applied to our tables like substring index if there are address lines address we used to have no so uh, say for example the first address line if you are giving it as a number house number then there is a space if there is a space or normally it will be a comma right 104 comma street name like that we give if you want to find only the house number then you can give comma comma they keep writing it in the address line the first occurrence of a comma you will display the number so that we can consider it as an house number okay likewise you can use this substring index is this both clear so here it is there is a, a string a stair is the string from which you want to extract a substring delimiter is the string that acts as a delimiter okay the function performs a case sensitive match uh, when searching for the delimiter okay it will not check for the case it will match with the case sensitive that's what they're saying n is the integer that specifies the number of occurrences of the delimiter the n can be negative or a positive integer if positive the function returns every character from the left of the string up to the number of occurrences of the delimiter and if negative from the right of the string whatever i have told no if it is positive if it is positive then it will go from left to right if the, based on the count okay this first occurrence the second occurrence it will stop here and display only this part if it is a negative value then it will go from here okay first occurrence second occurrence of the delimiter and it gives this as the result is this okay guys substring and string can we see some demo in this amalan Vani and sir and Vai uh, Bao. Okay, we will see some demo in this. Okay, so what I will do is the same thing like uh, select a substring. in that i will write the same thing pg diploma and if you are going to read the from the fifth character okay then it will display like this so from fifth character which is p from p it will display the substring okay so this you can write it in this way also from from five both are same okay both will be the same both will be giving the same result substring from which character you wanted to read that you can give it or if you are giving it like from the fifth character for how many characters for you can give okay for how many characters sorry like four characters or three characters if i give sorry then it will give it as plom you can see the difference this is giving complete pg diploma complete this is giving four characters only either you can write it like this substring or you can also write it five four comma five comma four 
okay from you should not have 5 comma 4 this is the position this is the location and this is the position okay that, that it will give this as a result okay so for some query if I take it okay negative also I will show if I give it as minus 5 it will go from minus 5 and 4 characters it will read okay same result it is giving I will give like this see if you can see minus 7 DIPL okay so from here it will read DIPL 4 characters it is a display from the right side it will read similarly the same thing you can give without this from for how many characters say i give three characters okay dip it will give okay are you all following or is it uh, like a sleepy you're following right Okay, substring is fine, right? Say I take some table, select star from, yes, select star from imp table. Uh, here it doesn't have any substrings. I'll see some tables or users. Okay, uh, okay. If I take uh, some uh, user table, say I wanted to find the four first four characters of the password, but password you should not take. Okay, we will take username. Okay, then how you can do select substring, uh, then uh, from one we wanted. Uh, we have to give which is the argument right here we cannot identify the spring string separately what we will give we will give it as a username okay user game name from where you wanted to read one and till four characters or three characters okay uh, from which table from table users I'm using users table so it is giving all the three characters right from the beginning three characters from the list Okay, likewise you can do it. Okay, mm. particular uh, values you can find out and you can display it. Okay, if I say for the uh, substring index, mm. Okay, what I will do, I will try to add some email ID to this user table only. Okay, uh, alter users table table users add email. Email will be of character worker 20 characters I will give. Okay, it is added. If I see select star from users table. In the user table, I have added a field email and I how I added using the alter table, table name, add the field name. You have to give what should be its data type because it will not understand. No? So data type I have given it. Some email I will set, update, set, okay. Uh, email equal to admin at gmail.com, okay where auid this auid for admin i am going to set the email id okay it should be a uh, where care no so i have to give it in the quotes string right so i will give it in quotes and where for which field auid equal to one okay sorry syntax error update um, table right table name i have to give update users table which table it doesn't understand right update table name i'm not given now update table name set the email id for auid equal to one so it would have set it if you list it okay so for others also i will put it for auid2 
I will give admin one username at like that. Okay. So for AUID three also, I'll give fox at gmail.com. Okay. And for AUID three, I will give Lexus. And AUID, sorry, it is AUID six. I think it will be a mistake now. This is four. Select star from users table. This is all set. Okay, email ID I have set. Why I am showing this one is I wanted to do a substring of it. Okay, so I say like um, uh, select substring or substring index. Okay, substring underscore index then i wanted to know only the username of the email id what i can give i can give the field is email in that i will take the at okay that is the delimiter for me i'm considering that as a delimiter then how many times it is going to occur in an email id it is going to occur only once so i will put once one time it occurred you will uh, retrieve the result and give me the username only okay uh, substring only as a uh, username i will write okay enter uh, email column unknown email column in the field list from which table i am not given i always forget that if the table is users okay so what it has given it has taken the username that is the email id's first uh, till at it is retrieving it and it is giving the result so likewise you can apply your substring we don't have an address column otherwise in odd address means you will keep writing it with a comma right so whichever field you wanted to second time occurrence street name normally we take it address in that format right uh, like uh, that's how address will be right so you can take the particular pin code or the state you can easily find out after the fifth comma find out the substring which which you can consider it as a uh, pin code or a district or state likewise okay so this is about substring index and substring and if you go for the negative one minus one okay then also it will give the same result because at has happened only once no negative means it will give gmail.com from because it will read from right to left so it will give gmail.com so enter it so it is going to give the other end of the complete string okay guys shall i take a length and this one also will complete it what do you all say length and replace lower and upper that's it or we will see this tomorrow length is like uh, finding the length of your string okay directly it will find your length uh, what is the length of the string that's all that is that's why you use the length um, field and uh, replaces some string uh, information you can replace it in a particular location like a data science capital s it will replace it with a small s okay these are things say for example you have uh, already populated your table and the pop table is containing all the information but uh, something you wanted to change that time you can use all this uh, replace uh, function for the string likewise you can do that and lower and upper is directly that if you wanted to change all the names to lowercase or all the names to uppercase in your uh, first name or last name then you can do this one use use this one okay this also i will show i think right it is a small or we will continue tomorrow okay i will show okay please tell me i'm i'm not sure whether you are there or not otherwise i will continue tomorrow 